This video is brought to you by Evolve. Hunt together, kill alone. Choose your side. In stores now. Yo, yo, yo! What is going on, guys? It is your boy Aptic Scuppy here today, bringing you another live commentary Call of Duty gameplay video. So yesterday, something pretty gosh darn cool, in my personal opinion, happened to me over Twitter. Now, some people might not consider this as cool as others, but to me, getting verified has always been like... I don't know, it has, it has this unspoken coolness about it. That if you get verified, it's like, you finally made it. But it's not really, not really made for that, in a sense. You know, for example, let's take, let's take YouTube verification. Like, YouTube verification, nobody, nobody really cares about it. Like, I'm verified on YouTube, and I didn't even know that I was verified on YouTube until somebody pointed it out and said, you have a check mark next to your name on YouTube. What does that mean? And really, all verification is is just letting people know that, you know, may stumble across your page that you are the real person, the real optic scumpy. You are the real one. That's all that it's really saying. But that blue check mark, man, there's just, there's something about it. I, like I said, I don't know what, the, what there is about it, but there's something about it that just is so cool to me, and I will never understand why. But I'm not going to argue. But you know, where do I where do I go from here? What do I do with a blue verification check mark? Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. First off, every chance that I get to tweet at a celebrity with a blue check mark because there's a blue, there's a verification tab where you can only see people who are verified tweeting at you, favoriting your things, retweeting your things. You can only see verified people in that tab. So I'm gonna tweet celebrities, tweet famous people, favorite famous people stuff, and just see if they, you know, Follow me, whatever, and I'll just sit there and be excited. I got a tweet yesterday, like, you should tweet LeBron James and see if he'll tweet you back or favor you or something, just because I know he'll see it. Like, I know that he will see it if he runs his Twitter account. He will see it. So that's the first order of business, is tweeting celebrities. And listen to me, I literally, I, I think I'm cool because I got verified, but I'm still such a loser. It's not even, it's not even fun. The second order of business, you know... I don't really know what I'm gonna do from here. I mean, I have everything that I need on Twitter now. That's all that I really needed. That was the one of one thing that I really needed on my Twitter. Needed slash wanted. So all my goals that I could have reached on Twitter have been reached. That is it. Twitter is done. Now it's time to push on to other things. But, got a little sidetrack there. Order number two. See, with the verification check mark, I feel like it's a lot a lot cooler makes me a lot cooler so i'm probably going to try to pick up women with i mean obviously you know what are you doing if you're not picking up women with your twitter account you really you're not doing it right if you're not you know showing off how many followers you have uh you know it just it just adds a couple of points on to the the six that i give myself uh, attractiveness wise i'd say it makes me around like a seven or eight maybe it gives me a couple points as much as i really want to make myself sound a lot cooler than i actually am i really don't feel like the blue check mark is going to impact my life that much as much as i thought that it was before i got it. really i don't even know who i'm in debt to i don't know if hector got it done i don't know if mlg got it done i don't know who did it but whoever did do it and i'm sure i'll find out soon i will be in their debt see that's that's literally where where the line ends for me with with the whole twitter verification thing you know i can't really think of anything else that comes good from Twitter verification. I mean, no, it's definitely good. I'm not. I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing. It's not what I'm trying to say at all. I'm just trying to say there's there's not really many perks that do come with it other than harassing celebrities. And obviously, you know the the essentials that people actually know that I'm the real optic scumpy. There are quite a lot of fake optic scumpies on Twitter, actually. Believe it or not, I'm not sure they. I'm not sure how they didn't verify me earlier. Like, there's got to be at least a hundred to hundred fifty fake scumpies on Twitter. Like, but roundhouse, like maybe ballpark in here, hundred to hundred fifty. But, you know, I just got to thank you, homies, for every day supporting me. You know, I wouldn't have got that blue check mark, and it wouldn't have boosted my ego just a little bit more if uh, you guys weren't here supporting me. So, I do got to thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. Wouldn't be possible without you, boys. You guys know that already. Hashtag, hashtag green wall coming in strong. And also, one of my favorite things about being, you know, a content producer is that the community of other content producers and other people in the, co like, the content industry, like... People that watch YouTube videos, people that make YouTube videos, anything, anywhere and in between. The the amount of support and the amount of Twitter blow up that it causes is probably my favorite thing. Just going through and uh, seeing all the support that I get is really one of the coolest things. Going through and saying, seeing all my friends say, you know, congrats, happy for you. Seeing all of my fans say congrats, happy for you. 
it really is a, a great feeling, and uh, that that alone is probably the best part about getting there. Another funny thing that was brought up is that if you twi if you change your twiddle twi twiddle if you change your Twitter handle, for instance, if I were to take you know optic out of my name, if I were to take scump er out of my like if I were to change my handle at all. I would lose the verification, and everybody was teasing me about, ha ha ha, you're stuck with nade shot. In the back of my head, I'm like, man, I really am stuck with nade shot, huh? But I'm just kidding. I absolutely love Matt. Great kid, great guy. Absolutely love him. So, I remain an uncool redhead that plays COD, and you will experience the day with me. I promise you this. But, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you drop a like, favorite, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. It'll be down in the description below. And as always, my boys, this was your boy Optic Scumpy. Let me find this guy.